Here we have 10.4 using the rational zeros theorem to find all zeros of a polynomial, and this one contains irrational zeros. So it says the functions below have at least one rational zero. Use that fact to find all the zeros of the function. So this is already in descent order. So my P's are going to come from here. My Q's are going to come from there. So P over Q is plus or minus 1 in 3 over 1 in 5. So my possibilities are 1, 1 fifth, 3, and 3 fifths. So how do I figure that out? I plug each one of them into the function and I only stop after one of them works, okay? I don't know how far down the list I have to go, so normally just by default I just write them all and then I'll use the calculator to figure it out. Um, some people just write one and figure it out and then write the next one and figure it out. It's all a choice. So how do I do it? I set the first x value and then I plug in my function. So 5x to the third, get down, plus 2x squared minus 8x plus 3. So then this is 2. Then I'm gonna store negative one as x, go plug it in. I get 8. Then 1 fifth stores x and then plug it in. Don't forget to plug it in. I get 38 over 25. Then negative 1 fifth stores x. Oops. I get 1 1 6 over 25. Then 3 stores x. I get 1 32. Negative 3 stores x. I get negative 90, 3 fifths stores x. Um, plug it in, I get zero. So finally, right, we get zero. So this is the one that I need to use. So then in my synthetic division, I'm gonna have 3 fifths here, and then I'm gonna have all my coefficients in descending order, and then start. So 3 fifths of 5 is positive 3, which is 5. 3 fifths of 5 again is positive 3. 3 fifths of negative 5 is negative 3, and I get the remainder 0 as we knew we should. Okay, what I have left is this, which is 5x squared plus 5x minus 5. Now you can try to factor that, but I don't. I just do the quadratic formula. So x equals negative b plus or minus b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So I get negative 5 plus or minus the square root of 25 minus 4 parentheses 5 and a negative 5. I get 125. And what's the square root of 125? It is negative five plus or minus five square root of five. And so if I split this and I write five over 10 plus or minus five square root of five over 10, I get negative one half plus or minus um, one half square root of five or just square root of five over two. Okay, just reducing this fraction and this fraction, right? Not the radical part, what's outside of a radical gets reduced. So then I have those two guys and it says use that to find all the zeros. So what are all the zeros? The first one, three fifths that we found, and then negative one half plus square root of five over two, and then negative one half minus square root of five over two. These are all the zeros that particular function, okay? Now when I go over to the other function, I'm gonna work that one out. So it is in descending order already, so I'm still gonna do the P and the Q thing to figure out where to start. So P over Q equals plus or minus uh, one and two, and then one and seven. So uh, my possibilities are one, one seventh, two, and two sevenths. So then I'm gonna do each one and see where it leads me. A 
Again, some people write all this out, some people don't. I don't know how far down the list. What if it is the last guy, right? I'd rather just have them all and just stop whenever I need to stop, okay? So the first one I'm gonna put in. So one store is x, and then I'm gonna enter the function. Seven x to the fourth plus six x to the third minus 16 x squared plus x plus two. And I get zero. Yay, I get zero on the first one. So that's nice. Okay, so we know that one is a zero. Now I'm gonna use the number one and I'm gonna do the synthetic division. So seven, six, negative 16, one, and two. So seven, we get seven, we get 13, we get 13, we get negative three, we get negative three, we get negative two, we get negative two, and we get zero. Now this is seven x cubed plus 13 x squared minus three x minus two, okay? This is not a quadratic, which means I cannot do the quadratic formula right away. What I would have to do is I would have to do the P over Q thing all over again. We just got fortunate in that the P is still a two and the Q is still a seven, okay? So because of that, I don't need to list them here again and then do the problem all over. I can just use what I have here because I've already done it with P being a two and Q being a seven, okay? So I'm going to do all of these values, I'm not going to plug them into the G, I'm going to plug them into this, okay? Um, and you could call this whatever you wanna call it, you could call it F of X, you could call it H of X, whatever you wanna call it, um, but I'm gonna plug my values in here. So first I'm gonna start with one, one stores X, and then I'm gonna do this function, seven X to the third plus 13 X squared minus three X minus two. And so I get 15 when I plugged in one. Now I'm gonna plug in negative one. I get seven. Now I'm gonna plug in one seven. Oops. And plug that in. Nope, negative one seventh. Nope, now I'm gonna move on to two. Nope, negative two. Ah, negative two works. So again, we're gonna do the synthetic division. We're gonna use these coefficients, seven, 13, negative three, and negative two. So bring the seven down, we get negative 14, negative one, positive two, negative one, positive two, and zero we knew we would get, okay? So then now I do have a quadratic because this is C, X, and X squared. So I'm gonna do the quadratic formula to get the last two answers. So, so far we got two zeros and we're gonna get the last two from the synthetic division. I'm sorry, from the quadratic formula. So negative B plus or minus B squared minus four times A times C all over two times a. So we get one plus or minus the square root of 29 over 14. This will not simplify. And if I separate it, it does not reduce. So you can leave it in the separated form or you can leave it in the fraction form. It's completely up to you, okay? But you do have to or four answers. You have one, negative two, one plus square root of 29 over 14, and one minus square root of 29 over 14. Okay, and those are the four answers there.